In the scorching savannah of West Africa, a young man named Kojo was born into the life of bondage. He was a slave, passed down through generations of his family and forced to toil on the vast plantation of the powerful Ashanti kingdom. Kojo's days were filled with back-breaking labor, his nights with the haunting memories of his ancestors' cries and struggles. He longed for freedom, but it seemed an impossible dream. Yet, Kojo held on to hope, a spark that flickered in his heart, refusing to be extinguished. One day, a wise old slave named Akua took Kojo under her wing, sharing tales of ancient ones who had fought for their liberty. She spoke of the brave warriors who had resisted the slavers, of the clever ones who had escaped, and of the wise ones who had found solace in their traditions. Akua stories ignited a fire within Kojo and he began to see the world differently. He realized that he was not just a slave but a human being deserving of dignity and freedom. He started to dream of a life beyond the plantations, a life where he could live as his own master. Kojo's newfound hope fueled his determination and he started to plan his escape. He gathered a small group of trusted fellow slaves and together they hatched a daring plan. Under the cover of the night, they would slip away following the North Star to the distant lands of freedom. The journey was treacherous with slave catchers and wild beasts lurking in the shadows. But Kojo and his friends pressed on, driven by their desire for liberty. They traversed rivers, braved the unknown, and faced countless challenges, always keeping their eyes fixed on the horizon. After many moons, they finally reached the shores of the mighty Atlantic, where a ship waited to carry them to the promised land of freedom. As they set sail, Kojo felt the warmth of the sun on his face and the wind in his hair and the taste of liberty on his lips. In the new world, Kojo and his companions found solace in the embrace of the African diaspora. They formed communities, built new lives, and kept their traditions alive. Kojo became a respected elder, sharing his story with generations to come, inspiring them to hold on to hope just as he had done. Years passed and the transatlantic slave trade was abolished but the legacy of slavery lingered. Kojo's story became a beacon of hope reminding people of the resilience of the human spirit, the power of positivity and the unbreakable bonds of community. Art of Africa, where the drums still beat and the rivers still flow. Kojo's journey became a testament to the indomitable will of those who refused to be enslaved. It remains a reminder that freedom is never lost but can only be delayed and that hope can transform even the darkest of circumstances into a brighter 
tomorrow.